I randomly decided to vlog today. <clears throat> so, why did I decide to vlog? It's been a while since I posted on YouTube and um, there's a lot of reasons why I haven't done a tutorial on there. some days where I had the chance to film and I didn't uh, I was lazy and I uh, didn't want to drive to work to grab my makeup to bring it back home it's just I don't know it's really annoying to do that stuff I I got so inspired today um it just kind of clicked I don't know if you guys I'm sure everyone watches Desi. Um, there's this whole like huge thing going on today. Not today, but I, the past few days, or no, not the past few days, like one day, yesterday. Desi posted her Selena makeup tutorial, which I think was just uh, beautiful. I almost cried watching the video. And Carly then posted hers, and then she received a lot of hate and a lot of comparison and whatnot and all this stuff, and I think they both did great. You know, they're both two different people, so, you know, you're always going to get something different. But then you're, you're going to have those people who like to bring other people down and, and just compare to others. And um, she went, she took it to Instagram, and not Instagram, to Snapchat. And she was just talking about how, you know, we shouldn't compare people and we shouldn't discourage people because people like, let's say myself... You know, if, if I did want it to make a vid, let's say I wanted to make a Selena makeup tutorial, but because of all of the, like, the comments that Carly's getting, like, that's really discouraging. It, make, it discourages me, not like I don't, you know, like, I, I wouldn't want to put out the work, a tutorial that I worked on so hard, you know, because then I'm going to get, you know, ugly comments, like, I, I, people are going to tear me down. So she was talking about that, that people should not make those comments. People shouldn't bring other people down because, you know, how are we supposed to do what we got to do, you know? Um, I'm sorry, guys, I can't focus on, like, my verbiage right now because I'm driving. But, um, what else? Well, where am I getting to? Yes, she, she was just saying that people you guys watch youtubers because there's a connection and it's not so much about the makeup or like wow you know she does great work but it's mostly about the relationship mostly because you relate to that person and i was like oh my goodness she's right you know if i do have this many subscribers on my on my channel still even i haven't even though i haven't posted anything in like two months it's because something about me um they relate to there's something about me that's relatable and um they watch me for some reason i don't know why you guys watch me or my or my videos but thank you so much and then that just it encouraged me so much which she said really encouraged me to keep posting videos maybe I, I can try it doesn't have to be like three times a week like i really wanted to maybe it could be once a month or whatever but um to actually keep going because I at once got discouraged I'm like why am I gonna do it you know I don't have all the equipment I don't have the high quality a camera I don't have the editing features I don't even have a laptop at home you know so how am I gonna do this but she really really encouraged me and I wanted to just come on here and make a vlog or video and you know what there's so much that I can offer and I'm tired of like putting myself down and and, and telling myself no you can't do it there's a, somebody else is already doing it forget it you know when there there's a reason why people watch me there's a reason why you guys you know like my videos or whatever because there's something about me that you can relate to and I would be 
very, very upset that I allowed that dumb thought to stop me from doing something that could potentially touch someone's heart or encourage them on their career or their business adventures. Like, I know that God gave me a purpose on this world, on this earth, and that's to encourage others and to really help others prosper and to help them, you know, conquer, you know, every dream that they have, every goal that they have in their lives. Because that's just the person that I am. I love to encourage people. I love, especially women, um, I love to empower women and to encourage them and to just motivate them to follow their dreams. Because right now, I'm on that journey. I am following my dreams. I'm not going to say that it's easy because it's freaking hard, <laughs> but I am very happy and God has blessed me so much and I want to pour that onto someone else. I want to help someone else. I want to encourage someone else. So you know what? I am going to make videos. I'm going to start making videos more often and probably mostly vlogs because it's less work. I am turning into the street right now. I'm going to park. I'm gonna go to work guys I'm gonna go work I'm gonna co wax brows today <sighs> I'm parked so yeah I just wanted to encourage someone out there you know follow your dreams I am going to continue following my dreams I am right now uh, you know working on my business I've been working on growing it and gaining um, new clients I will see you guys later. I'll probably film again. I have been really busy growing my business. All my entrepreneurs, you know that it's really hard. It's hard to grow a business and it's like your baby and you're working extra hard and long hours and days that you're probably not supposed to work but you're still working at it. So that's what I've been doing. Um, the time that I've been gone from YouTube and um, yeah um, I am working on a lot of things I can't talk about them yet but um, I'm working on some things and I'm really excited to see where God takes me and see what happens so I really want to bring you guys on this journey and I want to encourage everyone anyone who's trying to start a business Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It's like 7.30 something. And I'm driving to work. I normally don't start till 9 a.m. But I wanted you guys to see this for your very own eyes. You are a business owner. There are no such thing as hours. <laughs> hours of operation. Um, I'm gonna do makeup at work. Um, 7:45 a.m. So after I'm done with hair, I'm just gonna chill there for a little bit, and then I start with my 9 a.m. clients. Sorry for the noise. Don't wanna smell my coffee. So yeah. To those of you who are wanting to start your business in the beauty industry, be prepared. There's times, there's there, there have been times where I've had to wake up at 4 a.m. to be somewhere by 5:30 a.m. or 6 a.m. Sorry guys, it's second hair day. I got not one little ounce of makeup on my face. Did I really want to be there this early? No, but you want to grow your business sometimes you have to make some sacrifices and if you want to make some money because no one pays you but yourself you have to do what you gotta do to make money um i'm also working tomorrow sundays are my day off i never ever work on sundays and i never compromise my sundays because sundays are very important for me i go to church on sundays um, it's my family day, and, um, I don't, I don't, I don't compromise that. I don't compromise God for anyone, um, but the makeup is at 9 a.m., so I'll get ready for church early in the morning, 
go do makeup, and then go go to church. Be on my way at 10 a.m. So that's what I mean about your business. You know, you have to find a way somehow to make things work. And if they don't work, they don't work. You can't overextend yourself either. There has to be a balance. And I've learned that through the years that you can't you can't over exhaust yourself either. You can't over stress yourself because that's not good for your body or your mind. Um, and then that shows in your work when you're super stressed out and you're tired as heck and you can't deal with life at that moment, it's gonna show up in your work and you don't want that. You don't want your clients to see that. Hello. Hi, babe. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys, so Remember I said that there's a project that we are working on? Well, we are on our way to that project. And I don't wanna say anything because I'm not certain that it's gonna happen. So, you know, I don't wanna say what it is until it actually is official. Sorry, my hand is moving. But, give me this thing, babe. You can turn that off. But I'll give you guys a hint. This is a measure. This is a measuring tape, right? Like a like a yes. measuring tape. This is a measuring tape that you measure like rooms and stuff with. So that's another that's another clue. I'm so excited. But we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go do this thing and see how it is. I hope I'm not throwing out too many hints, but that's what we're gonna do right now. Babe, how was your Sunday? Why don't you talk? You're so weird. You're so awkward, babe. You're making my vlog not interesting because you don't talk. I don't know what you want me to get the thing in my face. Oh, hey. It's okay. <laughs> you have to talk about your day and stuff. Like, how was, how was church today? Church was really good. Very good time at church. That's good. Yeah, babe, be careful. This lady is crossing the street. She's not even yeah, look looking. Girl. Okay, um, we're driving there. I'm gonna stop recording because I have nothing interesting to say, and my husband obviously doesn't have anything interesting to say. Ever, ever, he never, ever has anything interesting to say. But when the camera turns off, he always has something to say. So I will try to catch him by surprise when he's like doing something and I'm gonna put him in the vlog and he's not gonna know anything until it's actually live on YouTube and you know. Alright, so we will see you guys when we are done with our project.